So as a former resident of both New York City and a very small colonial house in Westchester, I am intimately familiar with the issues associated with postage stamp size closets. So for our new house in the Bay Area, we've got this growing family and growing amounts of stuff and I thought, you know, I thought I'd get serious about closet organization. And so I hired some specialists on Thumbtack who do closet construction and organization to come in and and deal with this and make it better. Here's what we have. It's not that it's <laughs> it's really messy. We're still unpacking, so just ignore all of this stuff. Okay, so this is what my closet really looks like when I don't neaten it up for for segments. So it's messy to start with, but it's messy because because I'm messy, and it's also messy because I don't have enough storage space. I mean, we've only got this one railing here, there's like all this wasted space up here, like all my clothing is crushed onto this one rack, so there's a lot of unused space here. We can do a lot better. And so I'm really excited to see what the Thumbtack Pro comes up with, and I'm especially excited to see what he comes up with from my shoes. Because this, this is not handling my shoe situation. The results. We added two railings here, so we doubled our hanging space, and then over here we put drawers for storage, and they're just divided with an accessory dividers from Amazon, I think. And what's really cool about this is this isn't like one of those crazy fancy closet remodels. It doesn't look like you know Zaza Gabor's closet or whatever. <laughs> This was just a few small changes and we ended up being able to get rid of an entire dresser. There was a dresser here, and now all that stuff is here. I don't even understand how we got this much stuff into the closet, but we did. A few quick tips for closet reorganization. First of all, pick up these little gold hooks that you screw into the wall, and you can use them to hang necklaces, scarves. Hang the items that you wear the most at eye level, and then put the items that you use less up high or down low. Now, here's a fun little way to figure out those items that you really don't wear and you should store or toss or give away. Flip all your hangers around so that the hooks are facing the wrong way. And every time you wear an item, flip it back around, and then after six months, you'll be able to see what you really wear and what you really don't. I would never do this, but maybe you should. If you have more shelves than drawers, invest in these dividers. And I was never a big believer in matching hangers, because seriously, who buys matching hangers? But I did. I bought a million of these little skinny black velvet ones. It creates a ton of extra space. And my last rule, absolutely nothing that is out of season goes in this closet. Invest in some decent quality storage bags and put them way down low or way up top. And finally, before we go, do you want to see what I did with my ridiculous shoe and purse collection? Yes. It's ridiculous. In my defense, this closet really wasn't useful for anything else. Uh-huh. I have all these little hooks here, and I hung all my purses. You see? Oh, yeah. Hooks for hanging purses, and I ho put it's hooks cups. over here for scarves. And then hats are up here. Hats? Hats! Here's a leather baseball cap. I don't know why on that. So, and then boots go way up there because this is California. Apparently, you don't need a bunch of boots. And then the shoes that I wear most often, which are obviously these. Go at eye level, for my earlier tip. Just so we're aware, because I showed this to my mother, yeah. she's like, that was your linen closet. This is our linen closet. Don't show it, it's messy. But I, <laughs> but I didn't like take up the space for our linen closet. This was really a useless closet that had like two random shelves in it. It's very narrow, so. Uh -huh. So this was the best possible use of the space. I'm Jordan Reed, thank you so much for watching. You're so weird. I totally fit in the closet. <laughs> Always store your dog in your closet.